नमस्कार सर थैंक यू सर माय नेम इज अरमान देव पोहन आई एम फ्रॉम केन्द्रापड़ा ओडिशा माय फादर इज ए प्रोफेसर इन फिजिक्स एंड माय मदर इज ए हाई स्कूल टीचर आई हैव डन माय टेंथ क्लास फ्रॉम आईसीसी स्कूल सेंट जोसेफ स्कूल केन्द्रापड़ा एंड माय ट्वेल्थ फ्रॉम डीबी पब्लिक स्कूल यूनिटेड भुवनेश्वर एंड आफ्टर डैट आई परस्यूड माई इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम एन आई इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग and uh, i graduated in 2022 and after that i have been preparing for civil services you feel that engineering by prepare for this or this for suffer service than the engineering you are graduate in engineering right? yes sir what yes, you are asking for administrative service yes sir what for sir uh, because sir uh, during my school time so only in 11th and 12th class uh, i had given for nda examination and after that i did not get selected so i thought that maybe i should try something else in civil services so that was the time when i my mind struck at uh, upsc civil services and opsc civil services examination i am plus 2 yes sir okay. from my 12th only okay. so during that time only i thought that uh, i should look about it so i researched a lot and i saw that this is the kind of thing that i wanted in my life i always wanted to work for public services to interact with the people to work for rural development because my village is in jajpur bari district which is a bari block which is uh, very much flooded area in every time it is getting flooded there is no good communication uh, facilities no transportation facilities so i always thought Not that now uh, yeah during my childhood time now some way it has become better but not in all the rural pockets so i want to work in this rural areas to work for the development and so that was why i thought that i should pursue for civil services and that was why i thought that uh, studying engineering in civil engineering will give me some technical abilities to work in the field that tell me you are orissa's administrative service yes sir when orissa was formed as a state sir as a state it was formed in 1936 yes sir what are the features of orissa the important feature of orissa important features of orissa as a state as a state yes how does you how can you compare it to other states other states other states yes sir so odisha sir it was uh, it is first state that was formed on linguistic lines uh, as odia language in 1936 so after that we had uh, one prime minister and uh, after independence it is similar to most of the other states like we have a chief minister as the uh, no, we no, have no, a, sir you asking what are the significant different features of odisha compared to what for we are proud of odisha we are proud of sir uh, currently in the current recent time we can say that we are proud because of our distinct odia culture uh, our jagannath culture okay. that we call it uh, call as the odia asmita nowadays so sir that but, is what odia asmita consists of only jagannath culture no sir odia asmita consists of our basically the entire odia culture which is which consists of our odia language or odia cuisines like uh, we can say that podo pita podo pita during raja festival mm-hmm. and many other dishes we can also say odia festivals raja itself is a distinct odia festival now which is celebrated by our president so odia festivals and also odia dance odc dance form and our distinguished odia sambalpuri sarees and dress so all these things these all consist of our odia asmita how many blocks there are in odisha sir uh, uh, how many blocks yes uh, as per my knowledge it is around 517 or 530 314 स्क्वायर population is uh, around 4.2 crore as per 2011 census how much it contributes to uh, indian population sir uh, india's population is 140 crore so it will be around 2 percent is uh, 2.3 2.4 percent is people say odisha is a tribal state tribal yes. dominant state yes sir tribal dominant and the person in tribal state sir around 22 22 exact number is the exact number sir, uh, i can't recall oh, the exact okay. number How many types of tribes are there in Odisha? Sir, 
developmental projects to uh, manage uh, how means uh, to manage the um, uh, projects like uh, by taking out the tenders uh, means uh, by communicating well with all the stakeholders by taking decisions on different matters what is the public sector or private sector public sector and uh, private, private sector, sector. How, do difference? how do you differentiate sir in public sector the major stakeholder is the government government and uh, mostly in in our if, if we consider the government completely public sector that is 100% uh, stakeholder is government and in private sector there might be means there might be private players who which uh, who have more more stake in the administration in the management so uh, administrative how many revenue divisions are there in odisha revenue revenue divisions revenue sir 517 tehsil revenue divisions division three revenue divisions sir central central southern and northern so what do you say odisha administrative service service what the service to serve the people to work for the welfare of the people service yes sir you are you have taken sociology as subject yes sir what is social process what is social you understand my social process ट Yes, sir. Means nobody talks about it. It is already our usual habit. Yes, sir. You know, there are four processes are there: integration, integration, assimilation. Huh? The other thing, I think that we have to. What is acculturation? Acculturation, yes. So right. we are getting cultured uh, in the process. Okay, do do read this. Yeah, I will read, things, read about this, sir. What to understand by culture? Yes. Culture means what? Sir, a way of life. वेपन then they are uh, giving uh, they are uh, giving the technology to india in a way that they will make the indian technicians so learn now the method. indian countries will say in agriculture technology transport to farmers yes sir. transport technology is what sir uh, by making the farmers learn about how to use the technology so that they can use it in their farming processes yes sir yes sir cheating you want technology generation technology transport yes. technology adoption Yes, technology adoption by farmers. Yes, sir. The generation by scientists. Scientists. The industry to transport. Yes, sir. Who is the media to transport the technology? Sir, the various uh, sir in Odisha or India, we can say the various Kisan Krishi Vikas Kendra sir. Last year, technology to Krishi Vikas Kendra. Krishi Vikas Kendra. Yes, sir. Krishi Vikas Kendra and also sir, they there are many. Uh, sir, uh, agricultural officers sir, at uh, block level. Extension also, division. Extension yes. division. Yes. yes. You, you you know what is the green revolution? Yes, sir. What is that? The green revolution was started, sir. We have our 
करेंटली भारत रत्न एम एस स्वामी नतन ही वॉज इज नोन एज द फादर ऑफ ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन बेसिकली सर ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन वॉज ब्रॉट इन ए टाइम वेन इंडिया वॉज सफरिंग फ्रॉम द फूड इनसिक्युरिटी फूड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इंडिया मिल्क प्रोडक्शन दैट बेसिकली सर ओरिजिनेटेड इन गुजरात एंड नियर बाय एरिया सो नाउ इट इज ऑल ओवर इंडिया इंडिया इन द वर्ल्ड it is uh, the largest it is the fast position in the yes, world sir, largest so far it is possible sir yes sir okay madam household structures cost effective cost effective so now ma'am now uh, in uh, civil engineering the most uh, one of the most recent is uh, the 3d modeling structure in india in recently in india a post office has been created in this 3d modeling structure that was created only in a couple of weeks the entire post office has been created and in 3d modeling structure not only we can get uh, the means uh, uh, very re- reliable structures very strong more efficient than other uh, other manufacturing but also we can get the structures that are uh, unique in design such as this uh, post office that i am talking about that has a different structure not a typical rectangular or square shape it is a, a difficult different structure so this 3d modeling can be very cost effective because it requires only a few days for creating the entire structure it is more efficient it has more compressive strength uh, characteristics than the regular structures that is being formed sir um, just joseph hi yes uh, actually, actually ma'am it is in my class 10th uh, so it was one of the thing that uh, every year of school hours to the class 10th student for becoming the best all rounder so in that yes ma'am मैम शुड आई टेल माई विजन so so our 100 years uh, of odisha will be on 2036 so i think that odisha what odisha really needs to work on now is to create create more employment opportunities for all because in odisha some way we have now come over the 2020 uh, 2090 190 time where we were a quite food insecure state our budget was not sufficient uh, for various welfare policies now we are quite sufficient in food the kbk area they are also now generating food we are also working on millet development in mission millet mm-hmm. so now we should work for improving the employment employment facilities okay and uh, education is also good so employment uh, facility for that we should work more on the skill development area okay employment and skill development next area Which area you want to focus? Yes, sir. Employment and skill development. Yes. Next. The second area is I would like to focus on agriculture. In the agriculture sector, we should include more technologies, more technology facilities because though Odisha is becoming rich, but our farmers they are not getting enough uh, income from this agriculture because they think that the production that we are doing that is not uh, we are not getting enough income. So we should look. towards making uh, diversifying the agriculture area like focusing more on horticulture millets and other things and for horticulture and all we should look to prepare more cold storage facilities and other technology driven facilities that will greatly propel their income agriculture will be my second take and the third take that i would think 
that Odisha, what we really call the India's best kept secret. Mm -hmm. So really in Odisha is now becoming a best kept secret if we do not work more on the tourism sector. Okay. So, tourism. Yeah. But, tourism. But important thing you left here, you left the disadvantages section of the society, women, children, all those things. They should come on a priority, na? Yes. There are empowerment, size, malnutrition is there. Okay. Yes. So those things also. Okay, sir. Should be on your top priority. Okay, sir. See you, sir. I'll add. What's the average life favor? Average life. For India, it is around 68 years. And Odisha is 70 now. 20. Read about that. You have been a brilliant student. You have been a sports secretary in NIT, AIR, AIR 1 in All India Math, Science, Talent exam. So, uh, leaving science, coming to civil services, don't you think that you are wasting your talent? No, sir. I don't think that mm -hmm. I am wasting my talent because mm -hmm. this is current society is a science driven, technology driven society. Mm -hmm. So, definitely my my speciality in science sector will help me hmm. to adapt more easily to technology, hmm. to make people aware more about technology and hmm. we can work for good governance hmm. in that sector. Hmm. Achha, tell me that uh, in our school education, yes. what we can do to improve the learning outcome of students who are in school? You know, uh, the employability yes. of the candidates or the students who are in school, even in colleges, yes. uh, even in engineering colleges, yes. employability is very low. Yes, sir. So th this has been a documented thing that employability is low. Okay. Yes. So what we can do from school education to improve the employability uh, of the candidates who are coming out of our education system? Briefly, very briefly. Yes, sir. I would say that in school e education, as per our NEP, we hmm. should include more vocational training courses. Okay. So, so that students from the school itself, they'll be well hmm. aware about hmm. their skills hmm. and they can work in it. And hmm. if we work if a student works in his area of interest, mm. then there is definitely a greater chance that they will they will get more skills and they will be more employable. Mm. Like the students who are better off in arts subjects, they are being forced to take science and work for medical mm. medical education. Mm. And in fact, after three to four years, they do not uh, get um, qualified in that neat mm. neat and so-called examination, and they in fact waste their four years. Mm. And that is why they they are not what we call that they are not quite employable okay. in their non interest fields. Okay, okay, so, okay, okay. I got it. But uh, thing thing is that vocational education one thing, hmm. and teacher education is also another thing. Yes. Okay. We should have quality yes. teachers quality also teachers. Uh, yes. to produce quality students. Yes. Okay. Yes. Achha, yes. Okay. Uh, let us stop it here. L next last question to you. Do you think that the self help group yes. in Odisha yes. are they been successful? As per we are giving money to them. Yes. They are not utilizing in economic activities. They are keeping it, they are keeping it with them, or they are lending it to somebody with with some interest. Do you think that it has been successful? As per the government reports that uh, we have. No. What is your assessment? You are you are studying. Or you are observing things on ground. What How is your assessment? Around uh, ten lakh SSGs in no. India. Yes. Yes. What is your what is your assessment? I think that SSGs are definitely going forward. Mm -hmm. Means we have we can see in the Mission Sakti Bajar also mm -hmm. many SSG products which are quite comparable to the uh, other national national level brands. Mm -hmm. So definitely SSG sector is growing at a great rate. Mm -hmm. Many SSGs have already become successful, mm -hmm. and there is still a lot to work on various small scale SSG that have started now. So government should work on giving more technology support and holding exercise for, for them so that they can grow more okay okay thank you thank you your interview is over thank uh, you sir one thing yes, yes.